Tom here, G'day Champions, how's it going? And welcome back to this week's Vendor Reset, the greatest on the interweb. I really hope everyone had a fantastic Christmas and holiday. I know I did. A lot of family time, food and drink, and a little bit too much sun. I'll probably be hanging up the Santa suit at the end of the week, so bear with me on this one. Righto Champions, it is weekly Vendor Reset time and there's no server maintenance this week, so you can keep farming, raiding, and doing your thing in the DZ. Righto, so welcome back to all you amazing subscribers and if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, you know what to do, pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. And please everyone engage with this video, a like, a share, a comment, it all helps with the magic and the wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. Doing all this stuff is going to help the channel and our amazing community grow. And don't forget to check me out on all my other socials including Twitch, Discord, Facebook, The Works. All the links for that stuff is in the description. Righto champions, before the vendors, let's see what's cracking in Div 2 this week. It's back, Golden Bullet Global Event is here for a week. This is the best global event that we get. It really does make you feel like a true division agent. You can use just about any build that you want for this global event, but I swear that this build was made for Golden Bullet. To partake in this global event, all that you need to do is log in and activate the modifiers and complete the challenges, it's pretty easy. Use your GE stars that you earn at the GE store to buy resources, name gear and even exotics. And remember to stay up to date with everything Division related, follow me everywhere, the links are in the description. So that's what's happening in Div 2 this week. Righto then, the vendors have now reset and I've done my usual whip around. There's not a whole lot going on with the vendors, but we do have a couple of nice items that the newer players might like, and there is that DZ exclusive that's pretty awesome. I'm quickly going to go over my top picks for the week, but do keep in mind that they might not be everyone's cup of tea because we all know what the vendors are like. And sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. As always, I'm your no fuss vendor reset guy that's not going to fuck around and bullshit you or waste your time. So let's jump in and check it all out so you can get back to gaming. Kicking things off this week, your countdown vendor has the safety distance, the sacrifice, and the harmony. The sacrifice chest is nice for a DPS skill damage hybrid build. Swap the status to skill damage, or you could even roll a skill tier onto this one. It's pretty nice. Our old mate Roy at the Haven this week has got a FAMAS. No god rolls on this one, and it's pretty even across the board with the talent killer. Swap the crit hit chance to damage the targets out of cover, and it's pretty decent for your run and gun PvE builds. Back in DC at the White House, we've got a Wyvernware backpack, it's got a skill tier, regen, and creeping death. I'd be swapping that repair skills to status effect, this would work very well in both PvE and PvP. Next we're at the clan vendor, and we've got one of my favourite named items in the game, it's the everyday carrier. It's got okay armour, decent armour regen, status with perfectly efficient. This is an amazing talent and the rolls on this would pair very nicely with that Wyvernware backpack for a crowd control support build. And the last stop this week we're heading to DZ South for that DZ exclusive SMG, the Dark Winter. It's got max crit hit chance which is pretty nice, now you could max out the weapon damage and you'd be fine with it, but I'd recommend rolling on damage to targets out of cover and spend some resources to optimise the weapon damage. It should only take 4-5 to five rolls. And like it or not champions, those are my tasty pickle ticklers for this week. On screen now is today's targeted loot, pause it, check it and farm it. Make sure you do hang around and check out the full overview up next and hey if you spot a tasty buy for the week that I might have missed, mention it in the comments below to help everyone out. And like always, show your content creators your support, like, share, comment and subscribe. All this kind of stuff really does help support myself and the channel. So that's going to wrap it up for this one and I will catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out.